So in this next part of the video, what we want to do is to have the sneaker duplicate and another one move down here while our text here move up here. We want to have the sneaker move in and that little uh, a big circle move in and then uh, it drops down and comes this one. So that's the final part of this video. So let's see how we can do that. Okay, so let's start, start um, with this text. Bring this te text up here so we can have the duplicate of the suit coming down here. So what we can do uh, with this little something like this. Now selecting the text, add your keyframe and then move in like this. Add the keyframe, reduce the size by 70 and then grab this and move it up like that. Grab our suit. And this is the interesting part because once uh, we have these effects attached to it, so when we duplicate this, we are duplicating the zoo and duplicating everything that's including the effect. So we duplicate that copy and we paste it here. So by the look of it, it's only one zoo, but there are different zoos that here. So what we can do once the text move up here like that, where's the keyframe? This is the keyframe. So let's move the playhead here, select that. And since we already have a transform here, we can use one of these transform. Uh, we add the keyframe there, move a little bit in like that, add the keyframe, and then simply grab another zoo, bring it down like this. And then from this size here, let's reduce this to 50 and see if it's okay. Okay, so 50, a little bit uh, smaller, so let's increase that up to 60. So something like this, and then from here, let's bring in the playhead and then grab onto this other zoo here, add a keyframe, move the playhead a little bit in like that, add the keyframe and reduce the size to 100. So the next thing is to remove this yellow background here. So since our zoo is resting now, uh, we just want to select the yellow clip, which is this one here, add a keyframe, move the playhead a little bit like that. Add another keyframe from the X value. We want to remove this all the way out to be hidden like that. And then now let's go back to playhead while the um, playhead is on this uh, keyframe of the yellow. Let's go back up again. So from here, uh, we need to select this. Um, okay, so we want to select the other sneaker here. Add a keyframe, move a little bit in like this. Add a keyframe. And now we want to move this and reduce the value of this to 120 like that. And then select this yellow clip here, which is this one here. Add a keyframe, move the value back in like that. Add another keyframe and uh, change the value to 80. Let's make it uh, 60. And also from the X value, we just move in like that. And from the crop by padding here we can just arrange this again to make it more a little bit circle like this bring it down in like that and let's add our final text something like that and then create it and uh, let's place this on top here let's select our sneaker which is the first one which is this one here and now once we have the playhead here let's go up to the panel text here and add a transform effect to it from the Y, we go opposite to go up <laughs> a negative way to go up like that. Add a keyframe, move a little bit in like this. Add another keyframe and change the value to zero. So once when this text comes in, our sneaker here will have to move out. So let's select the text here and select the first keyframe. Select the sneaker, add a keyframe there. Select the second text there. Select the text again and then select this uh, keyframe here. Select the sneaker again and add another keyframe. And this time we want the sneaker to drop down here. So from the Y value, we want to type in 100. Still there, so let's just grab it and push it down until the sneaker is hidden from there. And now we have this text here. Okay, so again, this is just to give you ideas on how you can create this using uh, Kaden Life. Kaden Life is a very powerful uh, video editor, but um, there's some things that they have to improve and some things that you can learn more on Kaden Life. And again, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, uh, you can subscribe and uh, yeah, enjoy this little um, a series of videos that we have here. Uh, thank you for watching.